Hello, everybody. This is Joe, aka Sustabaton. I new game. I just bought this. It was cheap. It was cheap. Uh, I suppose it's sim similar to Reketeer. I'm gonna start a new game. I got old trusty Rusty. Trusty Rusty. New game. Normal. Hard. Recommended. If you want to focus on the story, original difficulty level created by the developers recommended for most players. Why don't you just say that no normal? And this is hard. And that's easy or something. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I got feelings about accessibility in, in games and stuff. <gasps> Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. Twilight Zone? It's a... One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. Oh. They call they called them the Dutchess. Strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. And stuff. Town. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. They called they, they this bleh. Among the settlers, two groups shine bright as heroes and merchants, glory and riches. Yes. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. <gasps> Whoa! Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Dot dot dot. Wait, no. Just one dot. Not multiple dots. A! Hey! Continue. I like that loading little animation. <laughs> at me. Bleh. Is he tired? Why is he tired? Get your headband right. <gasps> you can move with the stick. You can move with the stick. Oh, yes. Oh, it's like Zelda. You can RLT left trigger. Wow. Okay. You can dodge. I'm gonna have to change that. <laughs> Dodges, uh, uh, what? Okay, yes, you can, you can jump over gaps with L, R, and enemies. That's handy. Yeah. And, okay, so it's, it's, enter the gungeon rules. A is attack. Oh, I got a broom. Cool. Sweet. Boy. Kill it. I did it. I'm gonna grab this. Y? I can't open that. X? Ooh. <laughs> Charge shot. RT is the potions. I could grab some potions. Bam! Die. Oh, no, A. A is a fast attack. X is a X attack. Okay, yeah, it says up there. See? Uh, this equals lock chest. This equals not lock chest. Open it. What I get? What I get? Uh, grab all. Grab hold. Hold grab stack. Quick move all. I'm gonna quick move all. <laughs> Delicious. I have all this stuff on my person and nothing in my book pack. My book pack. Anything? Anything good in here too? Let's grab them all. Fabric. What did I get? Fabric. Oh, and you can... Huh! Huh. That's kind of cool. You can you can immediately see what you picked up here and, like, the value of it, I guess? 250. 250. Ancient pot. Selling in reactions. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! I can't hit that! Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I can't even hurt that thing. Is this where I'm gonna die? Nope, I can't hurt that. I can't hit that. You can't get hit there from here. These things are murdering me. These things are murdering me. Okay. Ah, oh, I dropped all my stuff. I'm just gonna sell that jazz. Ew. Ugh, just... Spits you out at the end. Cool. Maybe I need something better than a broom. But, but. Old man Jenkins. Mm, hello. I'm Xenon. 
That's a noble gas. Mm, what a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. I have you now. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Yeehaw. Let's blow this kid and let go home. Oh. This must be his, like, grandpa. Grandpa Xenon. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm sleeping. Even a mere, mere child, ba barely able to walk. You were curious of the dungeons. Oh, look at all these maps. Maps and stuff. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. <laughs> Mr. Old Pete. It's me, old Pete. He's not old Pete. He's Xenon. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Yes. I just told you. Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts when you use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Ah, take this, says the old man in the cave. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Ooh. <laughs> he tugged his beard. Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Mm, yes. I picked up Home and Shop. That's pretty good. What do we got? I, mean, I, got, I got some stuff. I got a book. Maps. Hmm, successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop and up and allow the customers in. Okay, fine. Hold to open the shop. Oh, Jesus, there's already people. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do you want? Dot, dot, dot. Hey, everybody. Place. Oh, hello. You want this thing? Sell it. Did you see that? It's best expression for you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. Uh, that's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Yeah. That's, that's one way to do it, I guess. This is way more expensive than the other one. Hmm. I don't think I need to tell you that uh, the item is... Obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer the cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. On the Y button. On the Y button. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. RT. Crystallized energy. It would appear the go the energy surging through a golem crystallizes upon its destruction. Should be, could we cut harness the power somehow? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop is to its full glory. That's responsibility falls on you, not I. Why not? Help me, old man. It's in your blood. Will make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you just try out that new uh, new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous as night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Okay. I can do that. Sweet. Hey, he didn't even sell a thing. Whoa! Go now! Uh, go on, though. Those weary bones of mine must rest. Bye, dude. What? Hey. Mother, my son, when I find you... Oh, Will, have you seen Moss around by chance? No, I haven't seen your cornmeal. The people of Ranoka are so accustomed to cultured, uh, culture artifacts from the dungeons, they have become a part of our daily lives, even a part of our food. Delicious. Will! I saw you to the, in the dungeons earlier, mister. Did you bring me anything mysterious? No. I don't know who that was. Look at this cute little town adorable. Hey, buddy. 
Man, Will, can I play tag next time I stop by your shop? No. Get out of here, you, you daft kid. Yeah, I can, I can swap. Hmm, have you found any new culture artifacts in dungeons, Will? I always found it fascinating how um, all the items we find in du the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Yeah, me too, buddy. Look at this crum crummy house. Ooh. What the heck is that? What is going on here? Get out of my way. Hey, you, what do you got to say? I keep hearing old rumors around town about the dungeons. That may be particular artifacts are easier to find at night. Hmm, really? I don't need to. Oh, I've still got <laughs> dungeons. Ooh, let's go. To the dungeons, my boy. Oh. Read it. Dungeons, entrances. Entrances. It is I, entrances. Oh, you can break barrels. I curse you, Coopers. Oh, and boxes. Let's go to the dungeons. I'm guessing I can only go into one of the dungeons. Read it. Golem dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Let's enter. Let's do it. Let's give give this one more swing. Swingling. Do like that loading animation. Blue. Golem dungeon blue. Blue? One. What's B do? That's the pendant. Uh, ooh, we got a shield. Tink, tink, tink. Okay, dodge. Switch. Okay. Both of the... Oh, RT. Okay, we got it. We got it. Yeah, now I'm, now I'm doing some damage. Mmm, damage. Delicious, delicious damage. Let's get to it. That's a golem with a bit. Oh, that wasn't cool. You gotta dodge it. You gotta run, run back, and bust it. Yeah. Why can't I look at my Y? I want to look at my stuff. Die. Oh. Ow. 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 I have to jump over this hole. Kill it from the side. Bing. Bang. Boom. Get all his stuff. That golem has a cape. And also, I'm dying. Uh, what is up? What? Why is? Why is that glowing? Why can't I look up my stuff? Hmm. Interesting. Ah, oh, jeez. That thing's dead. There's stuff over here. I'll grab that. Heck, why not? Heck, why not? Uh. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took an injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant, all that but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I'd fare better than they. He thought he caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is his map, diagram, whatever it is. I was right. They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete. Done gone lost his marbles. Yeehaw, Crazy Pete! But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts, all of them linked to that giant locked door outside of the dungeons, the fifth door of the Rhinoka. Mm, sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. Whoever found me, I apologize for the smell, but that diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of, of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Done. Big Boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out. Now have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be so upset with me, little me. Cool. Key, 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 key. One, two, three, four, and then door. Got it. That was such a map. And a bunch of stuff. Okay, once you've got the thing. Oh, you gotta pay to make the pendant go? Oh, I can't. That's it. I can't do anything else. I gotta hold B. Ew. Turned into goo. That's all the stuff I killed down there. Yeah. And all the stuff I got down there. And I used the pendant. I guess. I guess. I hit A. I hit A. Whoa, saving. Whoop. 
That was cool. That was neat. Uh, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact, finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. Uh, dot, dot, dot. What are you going holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You, you found old Pete? No, oh, dead. No. Oh. <laughs> See, that, this is what happens when you chase that, what's behind that door. Leave it, Will, and just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Hmm. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that might interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Mm, would you be nice to see some new life in this in Rhinoka? Mm, nice indeed. Yeah, nice indeed. Old man. Old riggedy roo. Oh! Look at all the people in this town. Oh, there's a bird flapping. I'm going to read this. On the next episode of the First Abington Show. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.